All right, what's up guys? Welcome back, long time no see. Make sure I got all my good stuff, I'm gonna get my volume, everything. Um, I had a sort of a stream planned, as, as we'll see here. I had a, had a little bit of a stream planned, um, but plans have already gotten sidetracked. This is gonna be a, uh, if you're jumping in now, this may last 10 minutes. Uh, my son just woke up. So uh, we will not be streaming. Um, but what I want to do is I want to go over nutrients, uh, specifically Jax, uh, Athena, Floriflex, Front Row Ag. Uh, I have them all broken down just like I have in all the past videos. Uh, but I want to be a little more focused on this. And I do realize my Jax video, though still completely, con completely current information on there, is like five or six years old at this point. So um, we'll, do a, uh, we'll do a new video here. But again, that's not going to happen now. I've got 10 minutes. Uh, we're just checking checking the uh, the stream health, things like that. Let me know if you can't if you can't hear audio, uh, video scratchy, whatever whatever it is. Go ahead and give me your feedback. But what's up, guys? Good to see everyone. And since we can do that, let's break it down right here. So this was really, I mean, if if you guys just wanted to screenshot this and take take it and run with, go ahead. That's uh, this is the goal of my my nutrient video. We're going to talk all about what I use. So uh, let's see what I use as far as the formulas that I use here. Jack's Hydro and a couple different ratios here. What I may use in the future. Um, what's some hype? What's a good value? What's available on Amazon? Who's scumbags? All those kind of things we will talk about here. Uh, the classics, all the, all the good stuff. So I'll get into it. Uh, also, you can't really see it on where you're at there, I think, on where I have it on, on uh, OBS. But um, there is a wee bit more here. A wee bit more as far as some veg formulas, other things you guys want to ask about. So that's the plan as far as my, uh, my idea for an update, a live stream. And the reason being is because I've got a, uh, I got a pretty important run coming up in front of me here. Uh, nothing going to be record breaking as far as yields or anything, but definitely is going to be extremely, extremely quality focused. So we'll be tuning with lighting and we just want to make sure our nutrients is up to, uh, up to speed here. Okay. Nice, yeah, simple, uh, simple webcam. Not using my big macro lens. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just want to make sure it's clear. I was actually, I went in the house to see if I was, I was clear to, to go live, take an hour or so. But uh, the kid is literally just waking up. Ah, thank you guys for all the support, uh, especially uh, to me, to PLC. Both of us, uh, both of us appreciate it there. Um, PLC photo booster in stock. Speaking of which, I think there's one uh, right over my shoulder here. Photo boost housing, um, 640 housing, and some strips. There's actually, I believe these are these are all photo boost strips behind me here. Um, so plenty in stock here and more down at the warehouse. But uh, easier for me to sh me to help out and ship from here if need be. Um, do I run RO water with Jacks? I do not. I run tap water, which is kind of one of the reasons I've got some pH stability with it, as well as. Uh, Mm, even though it's not 100% available calcium, there's some extra calcium and sulfur in my water. Yeah, just check out the spreadsheet. I mean, there's really nothing to it. So, uh, you know, this is going to stay up for a second here, I guess. Um, but here is Jack's Hydro as we know it, which comes out to around 1,000 ppm. Do not listen to this elemental ppm. What this, all this elemental ppm is, is if you add up all this... That's what it comes down to. So that is your nutrient or elemental PPM. There's additional PPMs in the water. Um, you know, if you're using tap, you won't have them. But if you're using, or I mean, if you're using RO, you will not have them. If you're using tap or any other source, and even the nutrients themselves have slight, you know, different particles in there that could affect EC ever so slightly. So it, it's don't don't listen. Long story short, don't listen to this elemental PPM. I just did it because. It, it made sense to tally everything up. Um, it, it was just, just anyway. But uh, what I use comes out to around 900 to 1,000 ppm with my 200 ppm tap. So we'll call it around 750, 800 ppm. That's Jack's Hydro 
or the part A, I guess it is, 5, 12, 26, and that's in a uh, 3 grams per gallon to 2.4 grams per gallon to 1.2 grams of gall per gallon of Epsom salt. Um, and these are the numbers you come up with. This is a, the ratio I've been running for years and years and years, and still to this day, uh, unbelievable, and where I point everyone to start. So take a note. Um, I mean, there's nothing here other than just data. It's, it's nothing else. It's no opinion, no nothing. So take a look. Uh, we have 142 ppms of nitrogen. Some people say that's a little bit of too much nitrogen or, or feel that it's too much. They don't have an idea of what is the correct amount, but they feel that's too much. Well, we can lower the calcium nitrate in there, and we can start to drop, uh, drop nitrogen rates, you know, and you can continue to drop nitrogen rates to whatever you may be. The only thing that's going to happen is you're also going to drop some calcium levels in there. But if you're dropping nitrogen in flour, uh, your calcium needs later in flour go down as well, too. So it's, it's actually very doable. Uh, very doable and not doesn't really cost you anything basically so if you want to do that crank it down 3.6 to 2 and that's kind of what I've evolved into um, in what I ran the last two runs is the 4 to 2 ratio so all I did was cut the nitrogen back a little bit and I boosted up the jacks and I only boosted up by 0.4 which is like a 3% increase by weight um, and all we really did you can see it right here the numbers are right in front of you we dropped 10 ppm on the nitrogen maybe could drop a few less we bumped five, uh, five PPMs on, on uh, phosphor, great, really nothing there. It's, it is a percentage increase there, but I wouldn't say that's for bulking matters. What is nice, and why I like the four, is we get a bump in potassium. So we go from 205 to 228, and I think there's room to go higher because as you look to the right of this, in the next column, Athena is there. And Athena, honestly, if I was gonna use anything other than Jax, it would hands down be Athena. Um, the way they're doing it, their numbers, and, and like uh, it's really the way they're doing it. And I'll explain that in a minute. Um, it it's freaking solid. It's not going to compete on price to Jax, and I can make a Jax based formula that's pretty close to Athena, but it's not exact. Um, but like I said, it's co cost is where this one's going to lose. But Athena, what I really like Athena is their Bloom formula has zero nitrogen in it. As where Jax is a five, twelve, twenty six. That five being the nitrogen. I would love it if that was a 0.5 because I want all my nitrogen to be 100% tied to calcium in the form of calcium nitrate because as we were just talking, and this is just getting into the bulk of why I want to do this live, is people want to lower their nitrogen but they're worried about their calcium. Well, if you lower the calcium nitrate in the JAX ratio, whether in whatever ratio you're running, you're still bound by that 5% that's in the part A. And that 5% doesn't have calcium in it. So if you lower the nitrogen, the calcium nitrate lower calcium and nitrogen, but you still have some nitrogen that's not bound to calcium hanging on. So say you cut it in half, well, you're still not cutting at all, and, that, and that's the issue we run into, trying to keep calcium up while lowering nitrogen. Athena, long story short, gets away with that, um, and, and that's, that's the benefit to that. That's, there's a cost to go along with it, but really that is the main benefit I see with Athena and why they have a little bit more control. Not life or death. Um, I have no issues with my nitrogen rates. It's just that's what I'm seeing. And when if I was to say, look at how would I improve Jack's Hydro in the formula, a formula that's like 60 years old or 50 years old at this point, so you know can't can't harp it too bad. But uh, what would I do? I, w I would get rid of the nitrogen in the part A and 100 percent, and that way you could have 100 percent control um, while keeping it bound to calcium. And honestly. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk, everyone. That's literally all I wanted to talk about for the most part is that I changed from 3, three to 1 ratio to a 4 to ratio. Um, maybe 4 to 1 ratio. It's all by feel, but, you know, that sounds like a change, but let's, let's again, let's look at the numbers here. Go back to the numbers. Very, very small input or input changes or output changes, I should say, not inputs, but uh, slight nitrogen drop slight phosphorus drop in the, or phosphorus increase and the phosphorus increase that's a byproduct of the goal of increasing the potassium and like i said i think we can go a little harder on that maybe go up to four two five or four five four point five grams and pretty much match the athena to 250 on the uh, potassium i think would be an interesting one i've done it i have done it in runs but um, i don't have the numbers here to display to you. My issue is, is HydroBuddy only runs on Windows or an older Mac. It doesn't run on the new M1 Macs, even with Wine or any kind of converter. 
So I don't have Hydro Buddy on here, so I can't get you. Uh, I can't get you some live live inputs. I'd have to go to the Windows and transfer it over. So I'm working on that, but that's why we have this spreadsheet just here to uh, to watch in the meantime. So I hope that gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. And you can take this around because everyone asks, "Oh, what about crop salts?" Because you know some people who were hyping up Athena who then started hyping up crop salts. Who then probably got into front row ag. Um, and eventually they were on Floriflex at one time, you know, like they've gone through the whole freaking bench. So everyone's going to ask about these. And here they are. The numbers are the numbers. And you need to use some common sense to figure out how you could get them. If you need to change your numbers, it's pretty simple how to do it. We know it. I have it right here, the MPK. Look at the formula, which one has that, and start adjusting accordingly. Um, but they're all pretty different, honestly. Jax and Athena, very, very similar. Can be ran very similar, but even at their own recommended you know, ways of doing it, similar, I guess you would say philosophies about it. The way they're going about plant feeding is, is very similar. Um, crop salt, I've said it, they're uh, wannabe jacks, but uh, they can do what they want to do. Um, it's pretty similar. <laughs> you, you can look at the numbers, it, it doesn't take much. Uh, you, this is what their recommended feeding is, but if you go back to Drop the drop their uh, their part B a little bit and increase their part A. You have almost identical numbers, but neither here nor there. Jack's MPK and what used to be known and still is known as my GG Boost formula. All it is is a Jack's based Lucas formula, essentially. Right there, two grams to two grams to two grams to one point two grams. So that's two grams of Jack's, two grams of calcium nitrate, two grams of Epsom salt, and two gram or one point two grams of MPK or uh, monopotassium phosphate, yeah, monopotassium phosphate, uh, and that'll give you that. And if you look right to the right of it, it's freaking damn similar to the Lucas. So if you have Jax, you wanted to run a Lucas-ish formula, this would do it. Um, perfect. Then front row ag, which is what uh, Miami Mango uses and pushes, I guess. Uh, just really high PPMs on that overall, but their veg formula is a little lower, so they're interesting. Um, and honestly, I've, I've seen great results with every one of these nutrient companies. So, you know, take, take it for what it is. Um, and Floriflex, all I'll say is I don't trust Floriflex as a company, as a person, as anything. And I will say it openly in public, anything. I wouldn't give a fucking dime to this company. Um, all has to do with their nutrients and their business. But with that said, I wouldn't give them a dime for a fucking piece of plastic, a tubing, their knockoff octobubblers, not a damn thing. That is slightly personal. There is completely valid reason for it, but just know I will never talk well of Floriflex. The product is the product, and you can look at the numbers. I will never lie about the numbers, and that's all I'll report on. But as a company, they're shit, and I'll say it publicly every time. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk. VegBloom, um, classic, classic, classic. I will always put VegBloom on here because it was one of the – Jacks came well before it, but it was one of the originators as getting dry salts into the market and accepted a little bit. And so that's what it is. Anyway, um, like I said, I do need to go. I'm going to kind of get back into the chat. That was my spiel. Um, that was my spiel. And again, the numbers are the numbers. Uh, I just wanted you guys to have them. I will get in here with a little more structured, uh, structured longer update here. With, it'll be in a live format like here, but I'll try to schedule it so that we can get some people live in here to ask questions, do the whole deal, um, and we'll just talk about it. Got some possibly some new stuff from Tribus coming, or I should say Impello, not Tribus, but uh, some additional products in addition to Tribus. Uh, a few other things that uh, are all, all worth, worth talking about. Then we have some driver stuff, and uh, I guess the whole reason I'm doing this, I, I mentioned I have an important run coming up. I will be competing in the Grow Off. Um, they're doing a California Home Growers version of it. Uh, I haven't competed in a grow competition since 2005 High Times Cup. Um, before that would have been 2012 Emerald Cup. So excited. Definitely a lot of changes since the last time I competed and uh, interested to see how, how all the methods hold up. Uh, a lot of good competition and whatnot. But it's all, all database. It's strictly uh, cannabinoid content and terpene content by lab analysis. No uh, you know, no feelings, just straight, uh, straight results. So I'm excited for that. As you know, that's all I care about. Hence the reason I can talk shit about Floriflex, but also, you know, honestly and truthfully put their numbers up here and they are what they are. Um, that, that's what this contest is about. So I'm excited. Anyway, I got to pick up clones this week for it. And then the whole run is going to be based around that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to veg them up, mom them up. I've got four months to, to do it, to complete it, to submit the samples. So going to uh, extend that out. 
um, do basically a full tray of them. I'm going to clone them out and do nine per tray uh, and, and go from there. And just for shits and giggles, I might put a cut or two outside in some soil and uh, let them do their thing. Like I can, I could grow 10 different ways and choose at the end on which, which way I want to, which one I want to submit. The only rule is I got to submit from one plant. So I got to make sure one plant, I can't do too many plants where they don't have enough yield, but even nine per plant, they should pull two zips, two zips, no problem. Um, but I got, I think I got to submit like 20 grams or something. Oh yeah, what strain? Um, that's the whole point of the grow off. So everyone gets the same strain. All the competitors get the exact same strain. You get two clones at the beginning of the contest and it's a mystery. They don't tell you what it is. It's provided by, um, I've, it used to be dark heart. I don't know who's doing the cuts this year, but it's provided by one of the nurseries. So you can kind of get an idea of what it might be. Um, it's been leaked in the past on other competitions, but anyway, it's a mystery strain, part of the deal, which is why we're going to use Jack's in the baseline and then tweak from there, read the plants. Um, but it'll all be on YouTube. I don't think everyone's ever shown their grow off, um, competition grow from start to finish. And, you know, they want a couple picture updates here and they're like, Hey, here's my clone. And Hey, here's my sample results dropped off, which is cool. That's fine. That's marketing for them. Great. Um, but I would like to, uh, to show it off weekly and what it took to come to the end. And eventually the results will be the results, whether you win or lose, you get your results. So we'll be able to, to share that unlike high times, unless you place, at least back in 2015, you weren't getting results and Emerald cup, uh, once you're outside the top 20, you didn't get it. Oh, if I could go back to the Emerald Cup and do that one all over again, definitely would have uh, whew, would have gone with the pineapple tie. But uh, yeah, would the Jacks four two ratio be effective if you're running cocoa? I run it in cocoa. You can go check it out in the last two runs. Um, Okay, uh, their amino product, yeah, I have, I ran Lumia two runs ago, I ran out of it, um, good stuff, smells, uh, not a reservoir thing, I'm not a huge fan of it in the res, but if you can go through a res quick, fine, um, but worked pretty good, had some healthy plants, uh, definitely kind of, I got some praying the next day, so they responded well, um, it's good, it's a, it's a fish hydrosalt, so it's, you know, it's not, uh, it's not the exclusivity that they have on the tribus and stuff, but that's still a good product. Like barley extract, interesting. Um, it's a fish, I believe it's a shrimp, uh, shrimp based hydrosalt, but either way, that's it. Um, I gotta go get ready, help with my kid. He's up and going. I appreciate the time, guys. This was, I think, more. I think, uh, I think I put out more than I planned to. I think I was just coming in here to say, hey, I'm coming on later or this, that, but uh, spreadsheet's been up the whole time. I think that's pretty freaking solid for you guys. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.